It's my destiny, she said. Ooh, ooh, shut up and dance with me. We have got to go down there yes. and raise holy hell. Yes, we will be the biggest thing to happen in Indiana since whatever's happened in Indiana. Hey, hi, everybody. Hi, hi Deandra. Hello, hi. Hi. Hey. Hi, Deandra. All right, hope you guys are doing great. Um, so I watched The Prom a few days ago and I thought it was really good. I love the characters and, and the music and it was so colourful. What was your first reaction when you were told uh, you'd be playing the lead? I was in a thrift store in Brooklyn when I got the call and I was like browsing through coats. I mean, the call that changed my life, it was the best feeling in the world. I remember um, immediately after I called my mom, it turns out my mom and my, was at my grandma's house so I could tell them uh, together. And I remember just like walking around Brooklyn that day feeling like I had won the lottery of life. It was really interesting watching your mother-daughter relationship. Could you share with us what was going through your mind when you first read the script? I saw the Broadway production before I read the script. I fell in love with Izzy McCalla's portrayal of Alyssa Green because she's a beautiful woman of color. It was so nice to see myself or a version of my story on a Broadway stage. I just loved everything that this was about. I loved the tone. I loved that there were so many like heartfelt, intimate moments, but that it was so funny. I just, I laughed out loud while I was reading it. And that's always a really good sign. And I loved the challenge of having to play a character who was more conservative than I am personally. James, you so you played Barry because of what happened in his past. You know, you're quite taken by Emma and you want to help her. What was it like playing your character? It was a, a real thrill, really. I mean, there's not many times you, you get offered a, a part in something with a cast like this. But also when you read it, you go, wow, like this is a test on all fronts, really. I'd never done an American accent before. You know, to, to sing, to dance in big numbers, to have comic moments, moments of, of real dramatic depth, you know, in that respect, it, it was a, a real dream come true, really. The next question is for Andrew. Uh, we were hoping you could shed some light on this, given you've done both on screen and on stage. So um, how different is it performing on one from the other? It was definitely an adjustment. This is the first movie musical I've been a part of. I've done a lot of musicals, but I think that the, the big thing that I had to learn was stamina. Because when you're doing a show on Broadway eight times a week, as hard as that is, you're only doing that number maybe once or twice a day. And uh, it was tough. It was tough. If you could choose one song to dance to at your own high school prom, uh, which song would it be? Whitney Houston's I Want to Dance with Somebody. It's the single greatest song that's ever been written. There is a mashup of um, Holiday by Madonna and Milkshake by Khalees that I spent a lot of my early 20s dancing to. There's that song, shut up and dance with me. It's my destiny, she said. Ooh, ooh, shut up and dance with me. I don't remember. What's that from? Ugh. I don't remember the name of the band, but they're a Cincinnati-based band. You you answer and I'm gonna look it up. Um, Walk the Moon! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's a hard one for me. I'm not sure. I have to keep thinking about it. I think anything Lizzo, I would have jammed out to Lizzo <laughs> at my prom. Could you share with us your favorite musical or perhaps uh, one that impacted you the most? Hamilton has had a huge effect on me and the way that I just process life and things like that. It's just a beautiful work of art. And then on film, probably Moulin Rouge. The musical that really, really made me obsessed with musicals was Into the Woods. That's what really sort of solidified my love of musical theater. One I really remember watching as a kid was, was going to see Me and My Girl in the West End. That probably is, is a moment I really remember. I remembered seeing a production of Hair when I was in the eighth grade and I was obsessed with it and I just loved the way a musical could so fully capture like a social and political movement of the time and it really like Hair has a message and it is so fun. On film, maybe The Wiz. When I saw that film for the first time as a kid, it was probably one of those moments of being like, oh, representation matters. I understood how much more I identified to The Wiz than I had identified with The Wizard of Oz, even though I love both projects. Okay, I admit that got to me. It's time to...